Tu dois être dans une constance avec ta femme. King of the home, all that might be if only you consider the person with you as a queen of the home. It is such a blessing for Muslim women to hear that their husband is going to treat them as queens. And it is such a blessing that you get to hear from Muslim scholars and Muslim experts. That's what they are suggesting. But how does in reality it looks like to be treated as queen? Let's hear this testimony. It's amazing. It's amazing that when man says, I will treat you as queen, in practice, he turns her into slave. It is amazing when husband says, I will treat you as a queen. He puts her into housework all day long. It is amazing when husband promises that he will treat his Muslim wife as queen. He spit on her foot. It is amazing when Muslim husband promises his Muslim wife that I will treat you as queen. He screams at her at night. It is amazing when Muslim husband promises his Muslim wife that he is going to treat her as queen. He breaks things. It is amazing that when Muslim husband promises his Muslim wife that he is going to treat her as queen, he kicks her so that she can wake up while she is trying to sleep. Those are all so blessings. And because she feels she's been treated as queen in Islamic definition, in outside of Islamic definition, in Oxford Dictionary, this is slavery, that she wants to run away, that from her king husband. And husband gets her every time when she's trying to run for her freedom. It amazes me that Muslim scholars take the platforms and then say, treat your wife as queens because it is from the Sunnah. You look into Quran and then Allah describes you how to treat your wife as queen. You go into them however and whenever you wish. It's not up to woman to say, Oh, I don't want to have sex with you. If she says that, what happens? Heavenly being steps in and then curse the woman all night long. That is called rape within marriage. It is amazing that Muslim tells us that, Oh, treat your wife as queens. Allah says, beat your wife. Where is it been seen that queen is the one who walks around with bruises? Where is it been seen that queen's bed is being separated for the purpose of discipline? That doesn't look like to me that how queens are being treated. It is amazing me that you look at the sunnah and you get to see, yes, Muhammad treats his wife as queens. How? Strike them in chest which causes pain. He kept his wives at home. They couldn't go out. They were behind the veils. That's how you treat the queen. It's not only that. His wives as queens, all they did was washing the semen of Muhammad. How? What else? He cheated on his wives. Is that how you treat the queen? I don't think any woman would want to be treated like that if this is the definition comes from the sunnah to us that have the prophet of islam treated his wives like queen this is when muslim says i will treat you as queen this is what they mean you will suffer you will suffer more you will suffer more and you will live a life like a slave and that's honor for muslim woman why because that is the highest place Allah and Islam offers to woman. Dear, dear Muslim woman, I am sorry that you've been treated as slaves. I am sorry that your value and dignity and honor is being taken away with these false promises and lies. But it is not too late for you to open your eyes as well as open your brains and walk out of Islam. You are not going to be treated as queen in Islam. That will never happen because teachings of Islam doesn't allow that. All I want for you is to 
walk out of that Islam. Stop being treated as slaves. Stop, stop those false promises. They are, will never be kept. Why? Because teachings of Islam doesn't allow you to be treated as queen. Walk out of Islam and run into the arms of Lord Jesus Christ. Where the one who is the eternal son of the father loves you sacrificially and give himself for you once for all and offers place for you in the bosom of his father. Turn to him so that your identity will be in him. You will be valued, you will be honored, you will be loved and you will feel safe and protected because that's who we are in the arms of Lord Jesus Christ.